For the year 2020, I am filming a video review for every new movie that I see, whether in theaters or at home, and on January 24th, I watched The Wedding Singer. Welcome to my year in movies. This is talking to myself. No, this isn't me talking about a movie I had seen before. I actually have not seen The Wedding Singer yet, and so I figured it was a Friday night, I wasn't doing anything, and I'd, I'd recently, um, because Uncut Gems had just come out and I was really curious how that was affecting like the Sandler discourse and uh, because of Uncut Gems there's kind of been a Sandler resonance and so a lot of video essays have come out talking about his acting and how it's actually pretty good and they, one of the essays I watched really hyped up this movie and I figured it was a Friday night, I have nothing else to do, it's available, uh, let's watch it. And I was really happy I did <laughs> for a number of reasons. Uh, I can see why it's a classic comedy uh, it was infinitely quotable from the beginning. There are so many fun cameos in this movie. I loved John Lovitz. <laughs> He's in it for like all of four minutes. Uh, but he owns those four minutes and he is a memorable part of this movie as a result. It's a very cute, charming movie. Uh, the basic premise, for those of you who, like me, haven't seen the movie yet, um, is Adam Sandler plays Robbie Hart, who is a wedding singer. He sings at weddings, and after being left at the altar of his own wedding, uh, begins to fall for uh, a waitress, played by Drew Barrymore, who is engaged to a very stuffy s Bonds guy. He's in Bonds, I believe. <laughs> and it is good. Uh, holy balls, Adam Sandler is so charming in this movie. He is shy, sweet, self-deprecating, uh, and very vulnerable in a lot of places. What you doing, baby? Sorry, my cat's climbing the walls. And the film really demonstrates Adam Sandler's skills that I had been selling short this whole time. See, I never hated Adam Sandler. I definitely did not give him the fair shot he deserved, uh, but I also hadn't seen him in anything except for bedtime stories. So this movie really changed my perception of him, and, and the video essays I had been watching also changed it, but seeing it in one cohesive piece from start to finish, um, this film had a huge impact on how I viewed him as an actor and a performer because this film showcases a lot of his strengths. Uh, it showcases that he has a very genuine sweetness and humanity to him. It showcases that he is very good at playing the guitar. And it also showcases that he is a tremendous singer. He shows off incredible range in the film. Uh, the Somebody Kill Me Please song is uh, very aggressive and loud, and then Grow Old With You at the end is very sweet and gentle. In fact, it was such a sweet serenade that I had doubts that it was even his actual singing voice, but no, he, he just sounds like that, and it's amazing. <laughs> and this film is also very good at showcasing the kind of chemistry he has with Drew Barrymore. I have no idea if they knew each other beforehand. They had this chemistry on screen that was like they had grown up together, um, and it was so palpable and very easy to kind of fall in love with and root for. And, and she is just very sweet in this movie. I love that the leads are so sweet. Like, they do a good job of making it so that the characters aren't cheating on their significant others. I think there are a lot of romantic comedies that try to justify uh, when one partner cheats on their existing relationship partner uh, because they want to make it, you know, like, oh, these people actually do love each other. She doesn't actually love this person. And it's like, eh, still cheated. Uh, in this film, to my knowledge, thinking back on it, it's been a few days. Uh, I think it cleverly avoids that. I don't think... Hi! I don't think uh, Drew Barrymore's character actually kisses uh, Adam Sandler's meaningfully. Like, they have, like, the test kiss and that's pretty much it. And... We're just gonna hold that. And I think that's maybe what I like most, is that Adam Sandler's character stays very true to himself and true to character for the duration of the movie. Having fun? I also like that Adam Sandler's character and Drew Barrymore's character kind of experience the same story in tandem, or in parallel, I guess. It seems like their stories hit very similar beats uh, throughout the duration, and they, those beats just happened at different times. They also have, you know, very quiet, sad moments. Um, it's a rom-com. It's, it's very basic. It understands what it is. It knows it's not groundbreaking, but at the same time it kind of is, because uh, I think it 
it plays with but also indulges in some of those classic tropes and it's it's a really fun movie it was very sweet um, I enjoyed it so much that I bought a copy today because <laughs> uh, I, I see myself watching this one a lot it, it feels like a new favorite I'll probably watch it a few more times to decide if that's the case uh, but I thoroughly enjoyed The Wedding Singer from start to finish uh, I'm honestly very tempted to watch it now once I finish filming. Probably won't, uh, but the temptation is definitely there. Um, overall, I am giving Wedding Singer a 7 out of 10 uh, across the board, uh, which, you know, for a film that I loved as much as I did, I mean, it. there's still some kitschy rom-com tropes, but not enough that it deterred from my enjoyment of the movie. Billy Idol's cameo is a lot of fun. Steve Buscemi's cameo is a lot of fun. If you haven't seen it, it is worth a watch. I really think so. It's better than a lot of existing rom-coms, and again, infinitely quotable. Um, I, I love this quote in particular, but I've also sent the clip of, well, that's information that could have been brought to my attention yesterday. I have sent that clip to multiple people, multiple times. Uh, <laughs> and there are just so many lines from it that are, are really great. Anyway, I love The Wedding Singer. 7 out of 10. See it if you haven't. This has been my year in movies. Thank you for watching.